Hey everyone, this is Sarah, and it is, I believe, week 67. Um, this week we're talking about Pride celebrations. I apologize, I've missed a couple videos. This semester has been really, really busy for me with assignments and exams coming up and just so much shit that I just totally forgot or my webcam hasn't been working for me. So, um, anyways, um, where should I start off with this topic? Um, well, first of all, I've been going to Pride for, I think this is my eighth year, possibly? Seventh or eighth. I'm pretty sure it's my eighth year. Um, the first year that I ever went, I went with a friend purely for fun, just strictly to the parade. Um, it just is something fun to do. At that time, I didn't identify as anything other than straight, really. Um, but, like I said, we just went to have fun. We were very open-minded, and um, one of our best friends was bisexual or gay. I can't even remember what she identified as at the time. But um, either way, she was involved in the community to an extent in some way or another. Um, and then after that, I think that I, right after that, the year after, I started dating my first girlfriend. Um and for the next two or three prides, I believe, I went with her and a lot of our mutual friends at the time. Um, and I really fell in love with pride when I started going with her because um, I was part of the community at that time. And um, I really had a chance to fully experience pride. We didn't just go to the parade. We went, we would... Um, we would get a hotel and stay for the whole day before and basically drink and be ridiculous all day and then we would go to the parade the next day. So, um, yeah, that was really my chance to fall in love with the whole celebration. And, um, like I said, I went with her for, I think, two years, two or three years. And then I went and I was single for a year that I went, although I went kind of with someone that I was somewhat seeing, kind of not, I don't know, it was complicated, but we went together, and um, and then after that I started going with Seth, and I believe World Pride, which is in next, which is coming up next June, will be our fourth Pride going together. Um, the first year that we went, well, first of all, Seth has gone to, I think, only one other Pride before he started dating me, um, he went with a couple friends, and at the time, he wasn't out as trans, so he went as a lesbian. Um, and I guess he just went because that's where he felt that he fit in, that that community was um, kind of home to him, even though he didn't fully identify as, well, he didn't identify really as a lesbian, but that was the only thing that was really available to him at that time, or that he was willing to... Um, represent himself as, I guess, uh, because he wasn't out as trans yet. Um, so I don't really know what that experience was like for him, um, but when since, since we've been going, I find that in the earlier years that we, were, that we went, the first two years, Seth was more involved, um, not, I shouldn't say more involved, not more involved in the sense that he volunteered or anything like that with any of the trans community or any of the trans celebrations that happened at Pride, um, but more involved with that community, with the trans community, in the sense that he identified more with it in the earlier years that we went. Um, the first year that we went, he had already started tea, um, but I don't, I think we watched, we walked in the trans parade. Did we walk in the trans parade? I don't remember if we walked in the trans parade or not, but we were definitely at, they had a huge, um, kind of, they had someone speak in a park and, uh, there were a lot of people from the community there. Like I said, I don't remember if we walked in it afterwards or not. Um, but yes, he was, he was a lot more, he identified more with the community at that time. Um, the next year that he went, that we went, um, we did definitely walk in the trans march that time, along with our two friends, I believe, and um, 
he still kind of identified with the trans community at that time. And I was really proud to be able to walk with him in the trans, pri the trans march. Um, even though it wasn't really that big of a deal, there isn't that much trans visibility even at Toronto Pride. Um, they definitely make the effort, but I still don't think that there's a lot of awareness around trans issues or even what the term means or um, how to use it appropriately. Some people still use transgendered or um, some people still think that transvestite is the same thing as transgender or transsexual. So there isn't a lot of awareness still, um, even in Toronto, which is an extremely diverse city. Um, I, I'm not really sure why, I guess it's all a matter of time. Same thing happens with the same thing happened with the the uh, gay community. So I'm sure in time people will become more familiar with um, different terminologies and meanings and different issues that trans people face. Um, but it, it's still a pretty good effort um, to march with people in the community, and it's a start. Like it's a it's step it's a step in the right direction. Um, and the next year, or this last year that we went together, I don't, we didn't get a chance to march in the, the trans march this year because Seth had to work and he didn't make it down until late. And I didn't really want to go without him just because, I don't know, it just, I could, I guess, walk because it, it involves allies as well um, and partners, but I just feel it's, it's more of a powerful and emotional experience for me when I'm walking with him. Um, because then I'm able to stand by him and show my support for him directly. Um, so yeah, uh, this past Pride we stayed for two days. We've been staying for two days I think the past two years so we could go to the Trans March. And we're staying for two days this coming um, year for World Pride. Uh, World Pride Apparently, people are going to be coming from all over the world. I always thought that they did anyway, so I'm not really sure what the difference is going to be. All I know is it's going to be huge, and I can't really miss out on it. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I've noticed that recently in the past year, year and a half, that Seth has kind of pulled away from the trans community. Um, it's not that he is ashamed or embarrassed or anything like that. He doesn't have any negative feelings towards the trans community. He just, he personally feels like his transition is over for the most part. Um, cause transitioning technically means to go from one point to another and he personally feels like he's completed that. Um, a lot of people will always identify as transgender and I think he will to an extent, um, but he mostly just strictly identifies as a male. Um, he doesn't really feel the need to add the trans on there. So I'm not sure if pride is really meaningful to him in that way anymore. I know that he does want to still continue to march in the trans march um, just to show support for others and also um, just for personal advocacy to raise awareness about trans issues and be proud of who he is. Um, but I think we mostly just go because we identify with the community. He identifies with it in a different way than I do. Um, and by community, I don't just mean the trans community. I mean the entire LGBTQ, et cetera, et cetera, community. Um, I identify it with it um, in terms of not only being the partner of a trans person, but also being uh, queer myself, identifying as queer and having been in relationships with um, women, men, and trans people in the past. So um, I just personally love being there because it's a very emotional 